So our guy can shoot, but it's not very sporting that the pool pea can't shoot. So we're going to add a weapon for them to use to shoot back at the guy. Um, but before we get into that, one thing I forgot to do in the last video, go ahead and in the project pane under prefabs, choose shot, and then over in scale, we're going to go to 0.75 and 0.75. The shot that we have there is just a little bit too big. All right, so now we need a shot for the enemy. One way to create an enemy shot for the pool pee is, just like we've done in the past, create a sprite uh, game object and work from there. But the other way to do it is take this shot prefab, pull it up into the scene, and once it's up here, we can actually change the name of it to enemy shot one. And then we're going to drag it down into prefabs. And now we have enemy shot now one. Now it's still showing the, the wrong image, but we can fix that. I'm going to grab from the assets, the shot pool P, throw it down into textures. And now with enemy shot one selected, I'm going to drag shot pool P up in here. And now that has changed. We also want to change the size on that one. So we're going to go to uh, 0.35 for X and for Y. That looks better. And let's go ahead and see what this does. Let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, it's it's actually working. It's going. It went the wrong way. Killed, killed the pool pee, which is not nice. But we've got it going at least. So we have the enemy shot prefab. And so we will go ahead and delete the one up here in the scene. So just like we did for the player, we need to add a weapon to the enemy and make him call the attack function, and that will create the projectile. So we're going to add weapon script to the pool P prefab. And then scroll up here, find that. And for the shot prefab, we're going to use enemy shot one and drop it in there. We also need to create a new script called enemy script. And this one's going to try to trigger the weapon each frame, so it'll be kind of an auto-fire. We need a private variable. And instead of start, we're going to be using awake. And this will just fill in that variable. And in update, that's where we're going to do our auto fire. All right, that should take care of it, at least for now. I'm going to go ahead and save that and jump back over to Unity, and we will attach enemy script to the pool P prefab. And we're also going to uh, increase the shooting rate uh, for the prefab to 0.75. So we're going to fire a little bit slower. So let's go ahead and save that and run it and see what happens. Okay, <laughs> we've got the pool pee going left and he's shooting right. And that is because the shooting script actually says that it's supposed to go right. Now, one way we could uh, fix that to make, uh, to shoot the correct way uh, is to take our pool pee and uh, rotate him 180 degrees. And then uh, let's see here we, what happens. Okay, so, so we're shooting the correct way. Uh, but the pool pee is, is upside down and going the wrong way. And so none of that is good. But it will lead us into the actual solution for this. And that the solution basically is to create a game object, rotate it backwards, and make that game object a child of the pool pee. So let's go ahead and uh, put our pool pee back the right direction. And we're going to create a new game object. It's empty, and it is called Weapon object and we're going to make it a child of pool pee and since we want that to uh, be actually a part of the prefab I'm going to select the pool pee up here in the hierarchy and then click apply 
Uh, that way down here in the prefabs, we actually have that showing up. And technically working on the prefab is probably a smarter thing to do. So I will switch down and we'll work on the prefab uh, now. And so what we're going to do with pool piece selected, we're going to delete the weapon script because that's not going to go on the pool piece. It's going to go on the weapon object. So here in the inspector under weapon script, there's this little gear over here. Uh, just click on that. And I know this is going to be partly off the screen, uh, but one of the first options is remove component. So I'm just going to choose that and it is gone. But we are going to add the weapon script to weapon object. We're also going to rotate the weapon object. So at, once it's selected over here in the transform inspector, the Z is going to go to 180. And again, we're going to uh, reset the speed of the shot to 0.75. All right, we should be good on this side of things. But we need to make a small change to the enemy script. And that's because uh, this, this call will fail. We're going to do that by changing git component to git components in children. So we're getting uh, all of the weapons. Actually, we need to change this to weapons, weapons. And then we need to wrap this here in a for each loop. Save that, switch back over to Unity, check the bottom. Oh, got a problem. Okay, get components in children. Yeah, yeah. And everybody watching me make the typo was yelling at me. All right, now let's try this. See if our error goes away. No, because we're grabbing multiple weapons, so we need to make this an array. And now let's give it another shot. Yes, they all went away. Okay. All right. So that should work. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm going to hit the play button here. Okay. We do have one more error down here. It says the variable shot prefab of weapon script has not been assigned. It's nice when they actually tell you where you made the mistake. We, we gave the weapon script to the weapon object. But there's this shot prefab up here, which we didn't do anything with. So we need to take this prefab, which is enemy shot, drag it over into here. And now when we run this, it will be perfect. I'm assuming. I'm hoping. Okay, it's close. It's close. Uh, the, the problem is the position of the weapon object is set really wonky. So let's just do this. So that now it's going to take its position from its parent. That looks a lot better. And let's run this one more time just for the fun of it. And we'll shoot this guy too. Okay, cool. So if you got something uh, that's it's like, okay, it's kind of working, but it's off, the, it's off the side or something like that, it's probably because the positioning is wrong. So make sure, especially when you're using uh, children objects, often they're going to be zero and taking the position from their parents. At least in this case, that is true. Now what happens if we want the the pool pee to be able to be even more dangerous than he is now and shoot in two directions. We can do that by duplicating the weapon object in here. And then we're going to change the direction that it is shooting. So instead of uh, shooting 180, we'll uh, change this to 175. And we'll change this one to 185. And now when we launch him, Oh yeah, double barreled, uh, double barreled pool pee. That's cool. Now you may have noticed though that the the shots went right through the the player and did not kill him, which is not good. Uh, makes for a boring game. So we're going to add the health script to the player, and then we are going to uncheck is enemy. And you can see that his hit points are at two, which means it's gonna take two bullets before he is actually killed, or two hits. And he didn't get two of them, well, just for the fun of it, to make sure that this, this part works. Let's change this to one. There we go. Okay, so we've got uh, the, the pool pee now firing 
at the player, and if the player gets hit, he dies. And one more thing we're going to do. Uh, up here, I added that other weapon object, uh, but it, I added it to the character in the scene and not the prefab, so I'm going to hit apply up here, and that way the pool pee, all pool peas have two weapons that they're firing. And I'm also going to uh, throw some more pool peas in here just to see what it's like if we have a bunch of them. All right, so let's go ahead and try this, and I'm going to go ahead and shoot back at these guys also. Oh, man. Okay, that was a, fl a flood of bullets, flurry of bullets. Uh, and I should I should have set the uh, player. Well, here, let's do that real quick. Uh, we'll give him uh, 200 hit points. That way we're going to last long enough to actually uh, see what it looks like. Okay, cool. So we've got we've got bullets shooting at us, and we know we can die. And we've got bullets shooting at them, and we can kill them. So that's cool. We've got we've got a, a basic shoot 'em up right here. It's it's uh, almost complete. It's really hard to play, but it's getting there. So in the next uh, video, we're going to learn how to enhance the background and the scene to create a big level.